Hey guys, Brian here with Be Free Productions. Um, today we're going to talk a little bit about Vienna Ensemble Pro, or VEP for short, and what it is and how you set it up. So what this is is a program that hosts my plugins. For this, I'm going to be using a lot of contact because I like it and a lot of people know what it is, so it'll be simple to understand. So I have my template loaded up here. So one of the advantages to v Vienna Ensemble Pro and why you should be using it if you are an orchestral composer is it allows you to load up your template all here outside of my DAW, which is Studio One. And so this hosts all of my instances of contact. You know how if you have like a really big project, you've got all these tracks, all these layers, um, and then you're going on to a new song. Uh, even if you do have a template inside of your DAW, you're going to have to load up each and every single one of those instances of contact for every single instrument every time you want to start a new song. So honestly, you can just keep this running in the background all the time and then you load up your projects and it connects with this. So I can also do another video about how to set up a template with this or a template inside of Studio One. But right here, this is all of my instruments loaded up. They're all connected through Vienna Ensemble Pro on their own separate mixer channel and labeled accordingly. So with that being said, what we're going to do is kind of start from scratch and show you how to actually add instruments to this and how to get them to come through into Studio One. So what I'm going to do is add a new instance and I'm going to label this solo brass because I do not have that in my template yet. Uh, immediately what I do is I go and just delete the master bus because if you route everything through that it's going to have just one input and output that's going to come in through here and I want multiple instruments loaded up in each plugin. So I've gone ahead and delete that. Now I'm just going to load up contact right in here. And a disclaimer, make sure that you are all coordinated with either 32-bit or 64-bit plugins because if you just go to Vienna Ensemble Pro um, see the Vienna Ensemble Pro server right there you may think that's the right one but actually what I want is right here is the 64 bit version because all of my contacts and everything is 64 bits if you load up just the regular one and like nothing's showing up um, most likely that is the case so go ahead and try that so what I'm gonna do is there's my contact. I'm just going to load up some solo brass instruments here. All right, so that is a solo horn. MIDI input, one. Output, I'm going to go ahead and do one. Now all this will make sense once you connect it, but just follow this for now. Um, there are multiple ways to do this, but this is my most efficient way. Okay, so there's our horn. We're going to go and do a trumpet. I set all these to Omni. And then... So, um, if you notice here, there's your outputs. So it says one and two together because this is a stereo plugin. So one and two is going to be one instance, three and four is the next. So you have to make sure that all of these are routed correctly. So I'm also going to go up and make sure that the input is one. It'll read my MIDI controller and then the channel, MIDI output channel is number two. And then let's just go ahead and add one more just for the fun of it. All right, so what do we? What should we add? Let's just do a tuba. Good old tuba. All right, so output channel three, and so just make sure that everything is coordinated. It's one, two, three. I'll put one, two, three, four, and five, six, and that instance is labeled solo brass. Just make sure you label everything um, because or else it'll just say untitled and all these different instances of contact. You have no idea what's going on. So just starting from scratch, we're going to go over here, go into your instrument section where you would add anything normally. 
and we're going to go ahead and do Vienna Ensemble Pro. And again, make sure it is the 64 bit version right here, not just regular Vienna Ensemble Pro because that will just be the 32 bit version. So this loads up the instance and hit connect. There we have it, Solo Brass. Double click and there we are connected. Now, when you go out here, go into my solo horn. You look down here, you notice my mod wheel works. All right, so now we have that. Now you can go ahead and just draw out your stuff here. And you can use it just like any other plugin. All right, so there's just a little pattern. Um, what I do is just go ahead and make sure you label everything again. And you'll notice, go ahead and there, it's labeled down there in my mixer. Um, I also like to color code things as well. It's solo horn, so you see my other brass is actually a brass color solo, maybe make that just, uh, there we go. Okay. so. The big question comes up what about these other instances here you know you have this connected connected beautifully everything works perfect okay but now I want to do the trumpet what I'm going to do and this is my personal method of doing this uh, there are a few different ways, but I'm just going to go right here, hit output, boom, there's all your outputs from this Vienna Ensemble Pro. Do you remember why we routed those to 3 and 4, 5 and 6, or how we did that now? 3, 4, 5, 6. And when I did that, they popped up right here on the mixer. So there's 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, how do you actually get them so I can play them? Now, what I do is I just duplicate the track, right click, duplicate. It'll be the same exact plugin, Vienna Ensemble Pro number six. You notice that these are numbered one, two, three, four, five, six. So there we have it, Vienna Ensemble Pro X64, six, and channel two that is also why you make sure that each of these has its own channel one two three so you have the channels for that and then the outputs for actually sending to your mixer so here's the horn there's our trumpet Okay, now do it once more. Channel three. Now, this is why I said everything to Omni. See, now I can't hear it. it, said it's Omni. And there is my tuba. Now, it's still not labeled in there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and color those, label those. So this is all also kind of a tutorial on how I set up my template. Everything is down there 
And also, what I like to do is actually inside of VN Ensemble Pro, I like to do my panning all inside of that. Just because it's, it's quick and easy, I use Virtual Soundstage 2. Now you can see everything is already sent through there. So here's my solo brass. There's my solo horn. There's my tuba. Um, uh, it sounds great, but it is not actually panned correctly. So I do all my um, panning through here. And then actually in Studio One is where I do the reverb. So I just do like, you know, mass sends all to the same reverb, all my choirs. So there's strings reverb, brass reverb, winds reverb, and choirs reverb. So I'm just going to go in here, set up my panning, again, all with a virtual soundstage 2. I'm just going to go ahead and load up a preset, and east-west Hollywood brass solo horn. There you have it. I can't really see it because I have all these other things there. It is right there. And now, when I play it... You can hear the difference there. And now one more thing I'm going to do is send this to my brass reverb. So in here it sends, I already have it all set up because it's all down here. There we go, the brass reverb, solo horn sent through there. So again, it's all about just loading those up first in Vienna Ensemble Pro, routing them correctly, one, two, three, and your outputs just like that one two and three four for the next one and five six for that one and then going in here connecting your instance of Vienna Ensemble Pro by loading the plug in here and then clicking connect and um, finding that instance that you just set up and then remember to set your outputs so see how they're all nicely labeled there now because I labeled them down in the mixer well now it disappears and there we go now it's back so that's how you do that and again just to go in a little bit more in depth I just set up my panning all right out here so it's all ready to go straight to my reverb which I host inside of Studio One itself and all I do to get those to be able to be um, used as MIDI events inside of Studio One is just duplicate the track it'll be the exact same plug and it won't load anything else because everything's all loaded up outside of it. We'll just duplicate that instance of VN Ensemble Pro and then route it through a new channel. Um, that's how I do it and I know there are a few ways to do it like loading up uh, Vienna Ensemble Pro uh, event in input events and, and stuff like that but that is the way that works for me so that everything routes to its own mixer channel and you can send it to reverb however you see fit and then also Another cool thing about Vienna is that you can already load up all of your panning all outside of here so that I saved this template, boom, load it up, it's ready to go. I don't have to load up any more of this stuff inside of Studio One. It will all be ready to go out here when I am ready to compose my track. So that was that. Um, it's a little bit how I do it. I can also go more in depth about Vienna Ensemble Pro or how to set up a template actually inside of Studio One. Um, it's fairly simple, but is it, or it's actually not simple. Uh, once you get it done, it's simple, but the actual process of doing it is actually incredibly time consuming. It'll take out probably hours of your time, maybe even days, depending on how many tracks you have. Um, and then setting it all up through here. But once you do it, you're done. You save it, you can use it over and over and over. And then since everything's loaded into Vienna Ensemble Pro, you don't have to load up all those instances of contact every time you open a new track. It really is a godsend. I'm only using it on one PC. And once you have like crazy major tracks, you can use it on multiple PCs networked together. So that was how you do it. 
through Studio One, although other dolls may be similar. Um, I'm also gonna probably write a little article on why this uh, doll is a lot better for this than FL Studio, as much as I love that um, program. It simply does not work with being an Ensemble Pro, not for me at least. So, um, this has been Brian, Be Free Productions. Uh, what was supposed to be a quick tutorial probably ended up a little longer than anyone really wanted it to, but thanks for watching, guys.